very small village called Katebu in the far north of Uganda. We don't even show up on Google Maps if you try to find it. Growing up, it was just me and my older brother. My parents are both incredibly passionate about education. I wanted to have that as well. I loved learning and I loved science so I wanted to be a doctor and I was at Oxford. I was on the path towards uh, building a biotech startup and I thought that's the direction that I was going to go. Whether you're looking to address challenges with education, whether you're looking to address challenges with healthcare, it's electricity and the lack thereof was that central problem. And so what I ended up finding myself doing was actually saying, okay, well, if electricity is an issue, you know, why not address it? Julius Energy um, is an electricity company. We provide agricultural processing services alongside electricity. Farmers bring us their crops, rice, maize, granites, and then we process that into higher value products that can go straight to the market. And that alone doubles their income. And so including them in our supply chain as suppliers or feedstock meant that we were able to increase our electricity production, but at the same time provide them with a source of capital. The first thing that we did was we got a 32 kilowatt uh, biomass power plant and the way it works is that once you put the husk, it could be rice husk, it could be maize husk, uh, you put that into the gasifier and then that converts it um, into syngas basically and that syngas can then run a gas engine which generates electricity and so this model really is about generating electricity and providing electricity to run milling services and then in addition to that providing electricity to the home and businesses around. The first time we switched on the power plant and the street lights went up. The village felt a lot more lively. There was music playing. Just seeing that life and that liveliness um, for me was just really, really exciting. And it felt like uh, a promise of, of something to come. Technology is absolutely fundamental to everything that we do. So to make electricity distribution um, cost effective, to make it reliable, to even make it viable in an off-grid setting, um, we needed to develop a digital platform that made use of artificial intelligence, IoT uh, sensors, um, and blockchain, combining all of that to address actually the challenges that we face in distributing electricity. With a digital platform, you're able to bring all of that together with payments and interface with the existing mobile money solutions in the market and make it easier for us to pay um, our suppliers for um, what they're providing. The Harambe Entrepreneur Alliance uh, is um, such a network of um, entrepreneurs that are doing, are building businesses in Africa and focused on addressing various challenges and opportunities that um, uh, across the continent. So I joined Harambe in 2016 and then most recently um, we also got some support from um, Cisco via the Harambe um, Entrepreneur Alliance. When I went to visit my grandmother she said Buru Dao Match which means you went out there and you achieved um, all the things that you wanted to achieve and you're actually having a real impact on the ground. So at that point for me, I realized that actually, yeah, you know what? Women can do these things, can build, can lead, can build businesses and change lives within, within our community.